All right, my Taurus clan, how are you guys doing? It's nice to see you. We got some channeled messages here for you guys. All right, so let's clear out the energy. I'm going to use some blood sage here. Uh, know that tarot is for entertainment purposes. Also to give you some clarity to your situation. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't make it fit if it doesn't fit. And know that roles can be reversed. If I say it's you, it could be your person. Booking, you could go to rootsandrewards.com. Everything's in the description box below. All right, let's clear it out. Deep breath in and release. Allow yourself to be in the now. There's nothing happening at the moment. So just, yeah, shelf your shit. <laughs> okay. Say my little prayer. Okay. So, Taurus. Oh, comfy. All right. So, Taurus, I did, I rolled some dice for you ahead of time. And there's some messages in the astrology dice here. I got the number five, which is the fifth house. And the fifth house connects with... Um, Womanhood, feminine cycles, pregnancy, hobbies, creative disciplines, or fun activities. So I feel like you guys are getting uh, more into your femin feminine side. Um, you may have a lot of different hobbies or you're, you're, you're pretty creative. You guys may like sketch or, um, you know, graphic design or some kind of um, art. Uh, and you could be having a lot of fun activities coming in if they're not already in for you. I also got uh, Capricorn energy, Saturn. So the planet Saturn came out and that's pertaining to restriction. What holds you back? Uh, going without and following through on commitment, accountability and responsibilities. So you could holding back following through on commitment and accountability so you may be looking at yourself a little bit closer and taking accountability for your part in things and taking on more responsibilities and giving more of a follow-through with your commitments uh, so um, Understanding what holds you back. There's things that have been holding you back. I feel like the things that have been holding you back is yourself, your self-indulgence here. Whether it's um, these false narratives, false beliefs, limited beliefs, or this is um, addiction. Um, you know, you feeling that um, like imposter syndrome this could be. I think you guys are leaning into your shadow work, um, a self-appreciation. Uh, it's time to heal and uh, you're needing to focus on yourself. You're needing to focus more on yourself. You're good, you're bad, and the ugly side of yourself. Then I see the phoenix that came out in the pre-shuffle. So as you, you have this self-indulgence, um, shit going on you then come out of this shadow work and you go towards the phoenix which is a new phase in your life it's you feeling renewed there's transformation there's growth and change of mindset as you you start taking accountability and responsibility for your own actions and behaviors so divine consciousness is here so becoming more aware in in your mental in your crown uh, being open to seeing that, you know, you are flawed, um, that it's not always everybody else, that it is within you too. Um, so you have to turn everything back to self. If somebody's bothering you by doing something, you have to say, okay, how do I feel about this? Do, does this person, do I see myself in this person? 
um, are their actions a direct reflection of my own? Um, so I think you're going to becoming becoming more open in your conscious mind. So maybe more open to hearing people out and understanding uh, other people's point of views. Um, yeah, stuff like that. So expanding your consciousness. I also heard life uh, life raft. So you may want to do like warm water, not warm water, uh, white water rafting, or you could be very adventurous. You're an exhibitionist. Um, you could also work with guest services. You may work, uh, 24 hour shifts. Um, okay. So somebody's throwing a life raft to you, not a vest, but a life raft to really fully keep you, keep you up, keep you from submerging. Okay. So there's somebody helping you with this divine consciousness, with making you feel better, uh, about the situation that's going on with you. Could be born in 71 also. So Taurus, what is, what's going on so there's balance and justice coming in here you got the temperance card sagittarius energy um maybe you're needing to practice more patience maybe you don't have too much patience you could you know go from zero to 100 really quick uh you could be temperamental hard-headed stubborn yes taurus you can be that way. <laughs> it's okay to say, yes, I could be bullheaded. It's okay. It's okay not to, to you know, look perfect uh, all the time. So you may be, you know, trying to make yourself look perfect when, you know, you're putting a facade on. Not everything is perfect. Not everything is as it seems. Um, so let's see. I feel like some of you guys don't feel like there's celebrations coming in you're not really feeling smug in your energy there's something that you're waiting on something that's running out of time so something running out of time what is this about running out of time Scorpio energy, running out of time, so endings, uh, running out of time on a partnership, the four of wands, so you guys may be rocking back and forth about a partnership, you're trying to be patient with this partner, um, they may always, you know, indulge in things, and you're trying to elevate while they're declining, uh, all right, Taurus, you're back and forth about a partnership, it's partnership, what's, what's this about, Taurus, innocence of pentacles, I think you guys don't feel like your partner is giving enough to you, they're being like a little, a little, uh, a little cow, a little calf. They, they're very, this person could be very immature in their energy and they just don't. They're not elevating the way that you're elevating. So they're a little behind, maybe spiritually, emotionally, mentally. A little behind with the maturity here. The temperance cards, Sagittarius energy, what's going on? Eight of Swords, yeah, feeling like entangled, mentally trapped. You're wanting to see something flourish. You want, um, I think you want to feel like somebody is nourishing you, nurturing you. But yet, somebody just keeps putting swords in your head. Like, they keep just trying to get into your mental space. So it's like, there's barbed wire. Barb? Barbed wire. My name may be Bob. But barbed wire around your heart. Uh, right now. Alright, so Taurus, what's going on? Um, that's something to look at. 
Yeah, look. What did I say? B barbed wire around your heart, and then the heart came out with the rose. So you're dealing with some heavy hurt. Like, this is just really damaging energy. You just feel like there could be up to 11 people, 8 people, 3 people around you that just keep throwing mental conflict. You know, just lashing out with you with bitter communication. Uh, there's messages coming in here. So you just have to stay in your calm as you get these messages. As these people try to attack you verbally or mentally, you just got to stay in character. Don't let these people get you out of character, Taurus. It's not worth it. These people have already gotten to your emotions. You feel like you're not celebrating. You're seesawing. Uh, Nine of Cups in reverse. With the Two of Swords. It's There's indecision. You're feeling blindfolded. Feeling that... You're trying to anchor down. But you're pulling the anchor up now. It's... It, you may not... Yeah, Judgment Call. You may not want to continue to show this person stability that's what it looked like to me because they're pulling the anchor with the judgment pulling the anchor coming out of indecision as you're you know back and forth about this this four of wands this partnership this relationship what's the uh yeah okay so what's going on here you can't even rest well with this person in your bed you feel like you're very unrested. They don't allow you to rest mentally, physically, or emotionally. This person will constantly do some type of immature communication, immature actions. Um, this person may not even have faith. They may be atheists. They have no faith in divine God. They, the book, okay? The book is like the Bible or um, the Quran or whatever you whatever you believe in um, spiritual teachings or improvement you know you look for to improve your behavior your actions this person doesn't look to improve themselves they just say it's you it's all you it's all you Meanwhile, they're laying here and they're being the fawn or the, the calf. Like they know no better. Um, Knight of Swords. There's going to be communication here. Their communication is absolutely awful. To be honest, Taurus, this person's communication is freaking awful. They hide away. They may run, escape, escape it, and then lash out at you. Like, come out as the panther and, like, attack you verbally and bash you. And then go back in the woods. You know, go back in the bush. Maybe you live in Australia. Um... So there is indecision about partnership, Ten of Pentacles. Maybe there's some indecision about how uh, to separate pentacles, how to separate the family, um, how to just turn your back away from whatever's been spilt, just walking away to explore the thing. So Taurus, it looks like you are just walking away from people that don't see your beauty or how handsome you are. You're walking away here the universe the world traveling you're you're completing this now you're buzzing somewhere else you could have tribal tattoos here or like um pattern patterns you're buzzing around now this person may have isolated you from uh people around you I think you're bored. I think you're dissatisfied. I don't think you like what this person is giving to you right now. And you want the Ten of Cups. You want wish fulfillment. So there's some kind of, see, the blue heart. Like, depressed heart. You know? 
Um, there's communication coming in about your wish fulfillment. So you're getting something regarding what you've been wishing for, some kind of uh, nice communication. You may really like, you may be very um, into gemstones and stuff like that, or crystals. What is this Ten of Cups that's coming in for Taurus? Ten of Cups, what is this communication? It comes after like all this mental bondage and heartbreak. Ten of Cups, what's the Ten of Cups for Taurus coming in here? Uh, the Six of Cups. Justice, okay, that's good. So your Ten of Cups is your justice, feeling more, more well-balanced, feeling more peaceful after the, the blue heart, okay? After you were sitting in disappointment, getting messages, you know, the messages that you were hearing from people getting to you. Uh, the Six of Cups, I think, once you pull yourself away from this person or these people, uh, once you stop being nostalgic about it, or get out of this like woe is me I'm victim of my life and you did this to me energy you then can move forward towards the emperor or towards becoming the emperor becoming very established very controlled in your energy uh, knowing what you bring and what you're worth and uh, not accepting anything less than that you need growth the earth mother this is you know um empress there you are taurus whether it's man or woman doesn't matter you you are the empress i think you have been going through a spiritual awakening and you have connected with your uh, yin and yang energy your masculine and feminine energy your dark side your shadows and it hasn't been really easy for you to absorb that maybe you have some shit wrong with you that it's not everybody else or maybe seeing the truth of somebody in your life and you're just like wow i had no idea that this person was so so vicious and volatile and so toxic to my life i had no idea until you take this step back until you start doing this self-appreciation shit is when you start seeing like wow you are really immature you really don't got your shit together i thought you were an emperor you're not the emperor i thought you're the empress you're really not the emperor it's like um so i think the emperor and the empress is you are balancing with the justice card you are balancing yourself out you've been doing a lot of work on yourself there taurus it's good So what's going on with this person here? Yeah, you're gaining some enlightenment. You could be dealing with the Leo or you're getting the courage to uh, move forward. Yeah, this person just doesn't, doesn't stop. They just don't stop. Badgering, you know, just badger and badger and badger. Like just, Stop. All right, what's this person doing here? The emperor's out of here again. So this emperor, uh, I'm feeling like somebody is so on their fucking high horse and the ego, it's not even, this is the like toxic masculinity alpha. Uh, I know I know it all, I'm the best, I could do no wrong, you won't get an apology, and it's like, bitch, if you were a true alpha here, you can take accountability for your shit if you were a true alpha, but you're not, you're egotistical, you're a hurt little child inside this emperor, this man's body, like you're a fucking man child. When are you going to fucking elevate? When are you going to become the phoenix? When are you going to put your, your family above your fucking ego? Ten of cups is in reverse. Somebody's not doing right by their family. 
They're not giving the wish fulfillment. They're leaving you guys in poverty, in the cold. Whether this person's not giving you uh, enough time, attention, or funds to take care of the family, or they're just not, they're making you feel like a pauper. This person may not spend time with you or spend time with your kids or just like a fucking grumpy, a grumpy fuck. Like they're just there like me, you know, like not doing too much. Taurus, justice, but you're going to justify it for yourself. I don't know what you're doing to justify it, but you're doing something to justify it for yourself. Libra energy. Justice, clarifying justice. So things are going to start looking much better. So I just don't think that you're pleased with what this person has being, been giving you. I just don't think you're pleased. And maybe you haven't expressed how dissatisfied you are. And you're just going to wind up leaping away. Saying, fuck this. I'd rather go into the unknown. Find out what you have to do to get out of the fucking situation. Go to court. Go to law. I see judgment twice out here. Like, do what you have to do uh, because you just don't want to battle. You don't want. You don't want to battle. So you're ending it. Death. End. We saw that. Scorpio energy. Ending the shit. Ending it. You got a Pisces stalking you. High priestess here stalking watching this person may love the fact that whatever you're going through is ending they get a satisfaction out of that shit they get satisfaction in seeing you in indecisive hangman again and stuck pisces energy taurus you gotta pull your boxer shorts up or your big panties up and and really cut the shit off set up like heavy boundaries with this person because i don't think they're seeing very clearly it's not abundant family it's not an abundant relationship there's lack of investment or growth here there's no growth here the fucking person's a thief whether they're doing you dirty talking shit to you about you you know stealing from you lying from you lying to you cheating on you bad mouthing you just escaping the fact that they have fuck shit that they've been doing and they're not taking accountability for it someone's not taking accountability for it and there's quick communication there's quick communication with the tower I, how's this for i think i don't think this person's gonna see what's coming for them nope they're not going to see what's coming for them. They're going to wind up feeling real wounded by you retracting and you pulling away the way you do, the way you are, or the way you will be. Yeah, they're not feeling too smug in their energy anymore. They felt really smug. They felt like they had you like that. They don't have, they weren't giving you love energy. This person, I don't know. It doesn't feel too good to me. I don't feel good in this person's energy. I don't think this person makes you happy. I think they leave you wounded. I think they really hurt your feelings. And I think you've been crying a lot over the the way that this person handles you or mishandles you. And you're just... I think you're becoming very fed up. <laughs> to be honest, very fed up. And that's why the temperance cards out here, it's like... I, I've tried so much to be patient. I've tried to go this angle and that angle to deal with this person, but they just got my head looping around like, what the fuck? Just let shit go. Like, somebody holds grudges. Somebody will give you a silent treatment. Uh, you know, they'll try to get the whole world, you know, against you and shit. It's like, stop. Just fucking stop. Hold on, there's a card in here that's not supposed to be there. Well, I thought there was. Uh, the Hermit card flipped up, upright. Could be dealing with the Virgo. Isolating from this person. Going in introspection. Staying fucking quiet. Don't even say anything at this point. Sometimes it's better to just go quiet on a bitch. Go quiet. 
sometimes silent treatment is needed to gain the enlightenment to gain wisdom to to see ourselves to see the situation to see the person and then come to a resolution i'm getting very tired here guys this person's making me upset this person's pissing me off so taurus what what's the outcome here I'm too tired for this shit Maybe you feel like you're too tired and you're sabotaging yourself, you know, this by dealing with this, this bullshit, by dealing with this manipulation here. Master manipulator. Toxic. Devil energy here. Somebody just has a lot of hatred that they want to spew on you. And this could be a love partner, this emperor here, that doesn't want you to rest well. They don't want you to rest well. They want to disrupt you. See, it's Ten of Swords. They want you to feel rejected. They want you to feel like the bad guy. They want you to feel like you're doing the wrong thing. And you could be. You could be to a certain extent. But you're gaining that consciousness. You're doing the shadow work on your part. This person is not. So yes, you have your shit, Taurus. But you're seeing it and you're working on it and you're trying to get it better. And this person just wants to keep piling it onto you and not do the, the work that they need to do. They, they're making you try to hold everything. No, that's why you're moving away from them, Cancer. There's no more taking a fishy cup of love anymore for this partnership that doesn't fucking work. It doesn't work. It's a dead end. Death card, Scorpio energy death that's it so you're gonna wrap this up you're gonna move away from this call it a day do what you gotta do it's gonna take some time maybe 10 months 15 months from now you'll be uh clear of this person so what's coming in after uh you make this decision about this person gotta wrap it up it's going late don't let anybody get you out of character just stay calm it's coming in after taurus makes this decision to move forward yes as you make this decision to move forward cancer energy you then go to your nine of cups you go towards your celebrations you come out of the rejection and you feel really good really good and stable and togetherness um you may even um spend more time with your friends or um reaching out to long distance uh family members and engaging in family and leaving this shithead behind this emperor in reverse behind let them lay in their shit as you 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 rejuvenate from the heartbreak so moving forward sagittarius it's looking good you're gonna have another partnership in your future you connect with the color green emerald is your your uh, gemstone Maybe you're needing to wear more green or purple. Um, you may like to wear your gold bracelets and necklaces. Or maybe you're needing to uh, wear your jewelry. Dress up. Have you dressed up lately? Have you made yourself a little prim and proper? Like looking nice, like snazzy? Like getting out of the, the gym clothes, you yeah. know? Put on a nice little sundress and some boots or, you know, a nice little button-down shirt and some slack pants. I just feel like you have a lot of heaviness. I feel like all built up. You haven't, you haven't been celebrating too much, but you're going to get your ten of cups. You're going to get the wish fulfillment. You're going to feel good emotionally. You're going to feel very loved up by the people that are coming in for you as you push this person or these people out of your life. You have some good-ass people coming in here. Up to 10, 10 people that are really going to 
be there for you. This is soul tribe, soul family. Make you feel real good. All right. I'm live every Thursday night, 7 p.m. Eastern time here on YouTube and TikTok. Roots and Rewards, Jesse Ray. Roots and Rewards, Jesse. Um, if you'd like to book a read, rootsandrewards.com. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Give me some feedback. Let me know how these reads resonate with you. Like, what are your stories? Um, I love to read them. And uh, I have an Amazon wish list in my link tree link below if you'd like to purchase something for the channel. Uh, I could use some new cards. And uh, yeah, follow on Instagram. The more places you follow, the easier it is to, for me to pull on your energy to get you the best guidance possible. The more you interact with me, that definitely helps. And that's what I got for you. Um, I will be at uh, a consignment shop in uh, i was supposed to get the name of it leaf leaf consignment shop in madison new jersey february 10th one to three i'm doing half price reads there it's a upscale uh consignment shop they invited me to be a guest there uh so i will be there they have prada bags they all have like cool little you know outfits and stuff so come check it out if you are interested just message me and i'll give you um the details it is on my instagram I recently posted about it to get the name and location. Check it out. Next up is Virgo. And uh, yeah, you keep yourself in higher regard. Bye, guys.